setup at our business development conferences is really the same regardless if we're in Moscow, Dubai, or like here in Shanghai. The exhibitors are assigned a three by three meter space and the buyers from the region come in for visits throughout the day. SEMA has kicked off a new program where we're bringing specialists from the U.S. to scan new vehicles, vehicles that consumers modify, so our member companies can develop products at home and then export them to these foreign markets. We'll bring companies to shops in the regions that we have business development conferences because we want our members to see the type of inventory that uh, a typical shop will have, the type of vehicles that they're working on. It really, you know, if we were just to describe it or have a meeting at, at the trade show, that's really only half the story. It gives our members confidence in the marketplace and uh, in the industry um, in places like China, the Middle East, Russia, and all the other emerging markets that we're active in. So, Mr. Lin, could you talk a little bit about the off-road market here and um, a little bit about your business? How long I found you that I fell in love with Wranglers, and I purchased the one, and I started to customize Wrangler, and gradually I turned my hobby into my career. About 60 percent of the Chinese uh, Wrangler owners would uh, customize the exterior. About 20% of the owners uh, would love to make sure that their vehicles could go off-roading, so they need performance. About 10% of the Wrangler owners, they need both to make it cool as well as the performance. So I think SEMA and a lot of U.S. manufacturers give us support. So right now we have more than 14 shops. Uh, actually, that's a that's a franchise. Yeah, 14 shops at uh, on a different city in China, and we also have one uh, franchise in Jakarta. Yeah, so yeah, you know we set up a shop in Los Angeles right now. So we we will build the whole Jeep in Los Angeles. They export to China. I think this is a really unique opportunity for us to work together and really make a difference uh, to small businesses. Uh, you've got several businesses who've never been here to China before and the ability to work with them and explore the market together uh, under your umbrella that gives them a safety net and then along with the Department of Commerce and our folks who have the experience in the market to make sure that they have a success uh, when they come to market and make sure uh, that going forward they can export and they can be confident uh, in, in who they're dealing with in the market. The Chinese really only started owning their private vehicles in the, in the late 80s, early 90s. So the market is really poised to grow very significantly. And so there really is an excitement in the air uh, in China in terms of being able to customize and being able to really make those vehicles their own. And when we look at the market, we think that the, the area that we're going to see some significant growth is in the area of being able to customize and aftermarket products. All we got to do is put a U.S. flag on a box and put made in the United States and it's going to fly off the shelves. Um, the Chinese have great confidence in our manufacturing. Uh, they love our quality. They love our products and our products do very, very well. We have a great name brand behind the United States of America and China.